that actually worked. All right. What's up, guys? Mike B.A.K. Phony. This is Marathon. Uh, for those of you guys who have never heard of this game, it is one of the original, it's basically a classic Bungie FPS. Um, some people get it confused with, uh, especially when they look at the Bungie history, they're like, oh, is this like the predecessor to Halo? Sort of. Uh, it definitely has a lot of the same, like, as you play play through it, you're going to hear things and you're going to see things that might remind you of uh, certain things you may have seen in the Halo series, uh, which is pretty obvious. I mean, it's the same company working on them. Of course, you're going to see stuff. Uh, but this is a, an Aleph 1 remake. I mean, this game came out in 1994 and the UI was terrible. Like, you should try to Google it. Uh, Google Marathon uh, Bungie or something and uh, do a Google image search and you'll, you'll see that the uh, the original UI was terrible. It, it, your view port to actually play the game wasn't full screen unless you made it full screen, which because you had no HUD. Uh, but it was like a quarter of the screen and the UI took up everything else. It was really bad. Anyways, Aleph One, which is a project, an open source project, um, they went through and they, they kind of updated everything. So we have like, you know, really, really high res graphics, <laughs> our textures, and it's, hurt, it's it's funny just saying that out loud. It's like, oh, it's high res, look at these high res graphics. Oh, totally, right? Um, <laughs> uh, and of course, they've adapted a new uh, HUD to allow you to uh, kind of get more of a full screen experience. So let's take a quick peek over here. Oh, the mob saw me. Okay, well, I've been I've been seen. Let me punch some face here. Come on. Now, notice that I'm running to punch. <laughs> because running and punching somebody hurts more. And that's the way it works in the game. So it's great. I do have a pistol, but shooting pistol is going to activate uh, any mob that's within listening distance. Which is pretty much this whole half of the ship. So I've landed on a ship. Let's go ahead and uh, take a listen here. Actually, not listen, but uh, go through this terminal. This terminal. These terminals are how you communicate with the, uh, or basically get the story part of the game. So let's see. Uh, Marathon Emergency Systems Broadcast. The Marathon came under surprise attack from unknown hostile forces. The Marathon has sustained serious damage. And then alien forces aboard the Marathon. The current situation is dire. All personnel are required to arm themselves and fight for their lives. Required, it says. Uh, you can see the uh, year, date, and time posted. 2794, July 3rd. Uh, right? Yeah, July 3rd. Oh, yeah, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Yep. So, pretty... The whole story is actually pretty good, uh, if I recall. <laughs> you, you never know. When you go back and listen, you might be like, hmm, this isn't quite as good as I thought. Uh, but, uh, this next message is from Leela. Leela says, Welcome to the Marathon. I am Leela, one of two surviving artificial intelligences among uh, aboard the Marathon. I have been severely damaged, and I am working to understand the current situation. Find the teleport terminal located in the hangar's control room. By that time, I should have a better idea of what's going on. So, Leela is your... Uh, she is the AI that's going to be basically assisting you throughout the majority of this game here. Uh, so, this is where you are now. From here, you can explore the rest of the hangar area. Notice that it says you can explore the rest of the hangar area. I'm not gonna get all hipster about it, but I'm just saying it does say you can explore. It's kind of nice. Uh, and there's a pattern buffer at this location. It's not just a straight line. Uh, there's a jump pad at this location. So a pattern buffer is a save point. Pat uh, the jump pad is basically the end of the level, and so it basically circles where they are on your map, and you can view them like this uh, to kind of get uh, your bearings just a little bit. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll do some shooting, so you can see how terrible it is. <laughs> Notice that it's all 2D sprites, right? All the guy, they're all 2D sprites. No 3D anything here. No 3D models. There's no backside to any of these things. Look at this, look at this barrel. Barrel looks amazing. Look outside. Now, the Aleph 1 engine uh, enables Bloom. So, imagine that without Bloom. It's just like a whole bunch of random dots I can paint. You just like the paintbrush, you kind of click randomly. That's exactly what that is. So, <laughs> let's go through here. Let's see if we can't shoot a couple of these guys. Now, <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. Actually, this is something to point out. Let me go up these stairs. Now, I can walk down the stairs holding on control. I have auto run turned on, right? So let me go and disable control. I'll run up the stairs. Now watch when I run down the stairs. A little bit of a gravity thing going there, right? It's a little bit of a low grav. That kind of float a little bit. Now, that's kind of a necessary thing because uh, I need to, uh, I don't have no jump. So without a jump, I don't have, I don't have the uh, a way to, really kind of maneuver around certain areas. I swear there was something over here. Uh-oh, I've been seen. The mini map's going off. 
Probably because of the shots I fired. See what happens when I start shooting randomly? Oh, that could be a guard. That's my pod that I arrive on. Notice how snazzy it looks. Now the physics are set up, the, the, the whole physics model is actually pretty good. I mean, for its time, it was fa fantastic. Um, couple of things to note. Standing in the light will attract attention if somebody sees you. Standing in the dark will allow me to kind of hide, if I recall correctly. Um, I'm fairly certain that's the way that they, they actually had that set up. Because these, these light textures on the ground, uh, it looks like it's coming from there, like it's a light source. It's all, it's all fake, like there's no shadows in the game. I can walk over here, there's no shadows, right? Um, matter of fact, there's a way to, see, it was a backspace to change my POV? Yeah, no, it doesn't work. Um, but, in the map creator, because I used to build maps for this game, in the map creator, you would actually draw a box here, and that would be a completely separate texture set. So, you would have to link this box area with, like, texture-wise, like, align the textures with the darker area. And, uh, then you would basically tell it, you would select that texture, and you would say, or that, that now, that new polygon that you've created, and you would say, in this area, from here all the way up to the ceiling, I want to have light set to X. So if I go in here, notice how my fist will light up. Now, obviously, the other the other physics that, again, this is like if I recall correctly, um, the other physics involved in this whole thing is that when you were lit up, characters can see you better in the game. And this is something that doesn't, again, it didn't exist uh, back when this game came out. It was totally new. Um, and a couple other things that they've added that really weren't really weren't very prominent in any FPS. Like this game, I mean, honestly, this game blew Doom out of the water in terms of like uh, ad how advanced it was. I mean, looking up and down was kind of a big deal too. You know, that textures suck. Yeah, I think some of the animated textures <clears throat> don't really function the way they're supposed to. <laughs> That's supposed to stay open. There's mob there. There's mob over here. So the green ones, oh, the green ones do not uh, shoot, they're melee only, the red ones do, and actually there's purple ones and blue ones. It must be the, the blue ones shoot, and the purple ones do not, they're just stronger mobs. I'm trying to actually show some. A couple things really quick actually. Notice that when he shoots, you can hear it go by. Uh, again, that's something else that playing like Doom and such, there were no flyby sound effects, which was actually really, really a cool thing here. Like, you could hear bullets fly by. Oh god. Bullets are not exactly, um... Easy to come by, you, you do tend to run out. Unless they've, I don't know if they've jacked it up for this, this remake. But this is a pattern buffer, so we're gonna go ahead and use it. So now I have a save. So now when I die, I will basically, yeah. Um, oh yeah. This is where the game teaches you like how to maneuver around things, right? Oh, look at this, you could maneuver around instead of hitting the switch, because hitting the switch would actually... Oh, float in a little bit. Would move that up. It's so basic. The game is so basic, but it's so, it's so damn good. Uh, I believe that's the four ship out there. It looks... looks pretty good, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, now we're in like some... Access tunnels here. I remember how to get through. Oh, I see there's a mob over there. Stand next to a, a terminal that I need to probably use. Now, one of the reasons why I'm playing this right now, because probably like, why did you, why did you choose this to play of like all the games? Um, well, one, I uh, I love this game. Oh, oh, no, oh, no! Oh. Come on. Okay, good. They will open up their their skirts there, their robes, and flash you <laughs> with a floating ball of electricity. So, but you can cancel it out by hitting them. But the second you stop, then they'll basically have the upper hand. They'll be able to fire off a couple shots on you. Um. Anyways, the reason why I'm playing it is because uh, I don't know if you guys heard, but you know the Destiny, the whole Bungie Destiny thing that they're working on. They're also working on a marathon uh, sequel, which is pretty fucking cool. Not gonna lie, that is really, really awesome. Okay, where is this area here? I see there's a... 
I don't, man, I'm, this is definitely, let's see, I haven't been in there. Oh, I remember this. Oh. Now, as you'd expect, these uh, slow-moving projectiles will also hit each other, and certain ones, I think the blue and purple ones will actually, they'll get pissed at each other. But I don't know if the red ones do. But they will kill each other, though. Let's go ahead and work on my fist skills. Yeah, see, like that. And that, and that. <laughs> I, I killed one of them. Okay, so there's a terminal back there that I missed. And this will give me quick access to it. This takes you back to the beginning of the level here. I'm gonna go ahead and run through. Pattern analysis successful. I can go ahead and actually save again. Now there's no duck, but you can look up and down. There's no jump. But you can look up and down! <laughs> that was like the biggest selling point. It's like, oh my god, you can look up and down. Oh, I remember that. Okay, here we go. So there's a uh, platform over there on the right. So I have to kind of... Like that. And then I can make it over here. Then, uh, I believe there's a dude over here too? Door. If I can get him to... Show you what he does here. There you go. Damn. Yeah, I need health. Pretty bad. Alright, what's this? Uh, unauthorized access alarm, security breach, further access denied. And, uh, that's where I'm at. Basically, it's, I guess it's the game's way of telling you that certain security systems are still enabled. Oh, there's a straight ahead over there. That's where I came from, though, initially, isn't it? I want to say it is. See how that's why I make him jump. Nope, come on. Is there not like a, a juicer over here somewhere? Like, is there not a health pad? Oh, I didn't go this way. Our health terminal. Terminal. Oh, here we go. I bet you this one right here. Reload. See, you can see him opening up his his robes to to give you the give you the business. And then you can cancel it out and go and reload. Now, as far as I remember, too, there's no reload button, so you have to fire off shots before you can do it. <laughs> the game's simple, all right? Uh, see another. Let's see, hold on a second. Uh, Aspects of theory is false. Each society has some controlling force or forces which decide its direction, but the relationships in society are arbitrary. Humanity can relate to money, machines, neighbors, anything really. Individual character and personality are preserved in stories. Movies, raw personalities, etc. Although individual expression is a universal ability, individual freedom is constrained by society. See attached figure. Further access denied. Notice it. Damn it. Spacebar. Uh, it's the UESC and in, Mar in Halo series, it's the UNSC. Yeah, that's kind of that. That was kind of interesting. Here we go. So here's a health pad or health terminal. Get that boost, and let's see. Yeah, the whole whole area over here I've not yet explored, and it's basically more ammo, which is good. And then back to the hangar. That's where I started, right over there. Well, right over there, right on the other side of that wall, right there. <clears throat> All right. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and, uh, oh, there's another area I've not yet explored. What is this? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, boy, that's deep. And this is it. This is the area where we jump. And then there's my jump pad. Is there still a mob somewhere? Are you kidding me? It's all right. If you guys remember, um, Doom and Doom 2 at the end of every run, and I think even Rise of the Triad, you would have this kind of thing where it's like, oh, you've, You've killed 100% of the monsters and found all the secrets and all that stuff. That doesn't it really exist in this game. It's much more story-based. Uh, all of the information that I have gathered so far indicates that the alien invasion of the Marathon has been relatively co uncoordinated. I suspect this is partially due to the Marathon's large size. However, dis however disorderly the alien invasion is, the result of the computer net has been extremely effective. 
I detect security breaches in almost every computer system on board the Marathon. I have learned that there is an alien creature that is capable of interfacing with our systems. You must kill any of these creatures that you find. It is a priority that we stop them. Even now, they are penetrating my defenses. Teleport now. Jump pad activation is to start. Transportation when ready. Transport when ready. All right, level two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Somehow managed to punch you in the face with hardly looking at you. Here you go, first terminal. Terminal I, Leela. She says, I am now in contact with a number of colonists planet side, but their reports and the situation are conflicting, obviously. Let's see this computer terminal that you're using now. Really? Is that the one you're using now? I cannot teleport you out of this section from here. Let's go back. Hold on a second. Uh, the only thing which seems clear is that the spaceport has been obliterated by low-yield nuclear weapons minutes after the attack on the Marathon began. This can verify through my own optical instruments. The invaders seem to be more interested in the Marathon than their colony, at least in the short term. The motives behind their unprovoked attack are still unknown. Hmm. So we have a busted antenna, and we have uh, what seems to be their interest in the ship and not the uh, and not anything on board. This is a computer terminal you're using now. Can't yeah. It's always like this. It's always like. This is where you are now. I can't move you to where I need you until you get to the other side, until the end of the level. Uh, usually, yeah, here it is. This M75 assault rifle, grenade launcher, and ammunition at this location when firing on the fully automatic setting. This weapon is highly inaccurate. It is laughably inaccurate. It's what it should say. Uh, but the grenades hit hard, and it's the best thing we could do right now. Ammunition can be scarce for a while, so be prepared to fall back to your pistol. Or fists, like I've been doing. Uh, here's a terminal you must reach to leave this section. The alien infiltration of this area is high. Proceed with caution. You may find doors blocked by or, or stairways retracted uh, on, on the way because the AI in control of these functions is damaged and behaving erratically. Alright. So we're going to see that in just a moment, actually. Look at this guy. Look at this sneaky man. Uh, this is what she's talking about. Stairways that are retracted. And that's this right there. So there's a pattern buffer up there. It'd be great if I could get to. I could save. But right now I have 60% health. And I have to some, somehow manage to get through uh, without dying. You could even say, uh, some people, uh, especially with the graphics update that we're playing right now, you could say that this thing is fairly Half-Life-esque in terms of, like, uh, how it looks, the graphics quality. When Half-Life first came out, I mean, obviously it looked like garbage like everything else, but, uh... We're still kind of playing within that same... Roughly within that same, uh, area... Or time period. Now you want to see how laughably inaccurate this thing is? Let me go and get some guys lined up here. No problem, right? Look at that spread. We stand back here. <laughs> Good new clip here. Let's get these. Uh, now there's a thing up there I want to get to. The only way to get there is by grenade hopping. Let's see if I can still do this. Oh yeah, still got it. Oh, I totally forgot about those guys. Where they go? I thought there was I I thought there was a flamethrower up here or something. I guess I'm wrong, huh? I thought for sure there's a flamethrower up there. That sucks. Well, whatever. Let's move on. Load. And there's my. My stairs, let's see. Huh. Damn, no no flamethrower. I'm pretty unhappy about that. You even saw the canister sitting on the ground. It's possible it was only linked to the hardest levels. Uh I'm playing on or maybe even easy, who knows? I'm playing on the uh the normal mode. Cause I'm more interested in getting through and get some of the story knocked out instead of sitting there ducking behind something for like forty minutes. Oh, they took off. They, oh, they probably think they have a better way. Yeah, genius pathing. Actually, I mean, 
I kind of, I kid a little because some of the pathing in this game was actually pretty good. Basically the way that they kind of figure out where you are. Not by today's standards. Oh, oh damn. Premature. Reload. I'll have to check the key settings to see if there's a reload. Oh my god, there's a damn thing right there. I don't remember what it does, but I can't take another hit. I'll need to, I'll need to get to a, a health panel terminal and come back. Yeah, you see, the spread on this is so bad, you have to get close. Yeah, I saw. There's a whole bunch from here, actually. Wasn't there? I thought there was more than that. Oh, nice. Mob set to death. Oh, I, yeah, okay. Uh, there, right there. That guy right there. Something's gonna trigger him. I forgot what it was. Oh, here it is. Oh! Ah! So that's a death. Now we're back here. Sucks, right? It's like... Ugh. It's alright. We know our way, so... Getting back to where we were. Well, we know our way as I go the wrong way. I forgot, forgot that we'd already gotten past this part. We could get past, or get back to where we were pretty easily. Oh, you know what I should do? You know what? I'm gonna take it. No penalty for dying in this game. Die as much as you want. Maybe subconsciously I told myself to come back here. And what that means is this I thought this controlled the lights in here. Oh it did. Sweet. I'll turn them off. See them fade out? Oh. Yeah, that technology. Oh man. Lots and lots of dudes. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I thought the blast radius was a bit better than that. Ah, whatever. Alright, now we're gonna get this. Ooh. Was this damage or was this just vision? I think it was just vision. Clearly useless on most things. Definitely not damage boost. Definitely is not gonna, it's not giving me more health or anything. Or ammo, infinite ammo. Oh, oh, oh. Like hyper vision. I could see <laughs> heat signatures. For half the mobs on the thing. The other half, unfortunately, I'm kind of screwed. I'm dead, no! Move out of the way! Clear. Holy crap. No health. Got two terminals here. And a switch. Activate the switch. They'll turn on an elevator somewhere. Also, when you're in these terminals, it doesn't pause the game. Like, if you're in this terminal and somebody's chasing you, it's still gonna chase you and it's gonna hit you in the face. Uh, let's see. There are five basic door designs to be used in the marathon. Okay, so yeah, this basically explains to you the various doors and how you can control them using switches and all that. <clears throat> let's see. Uh, but there's good information here. Let's see. Direct control of all doors, except the tertiary and, qu and uh, quaternary doors, will be given to Durandal with indirect control of all other doors going to Durandal. 
The difference being between direct and indirect control primarily has to do with the manner of opening the doors. Durandal will, o will only open a directly controlled door if he is specifically asked to do so. Uh, indirectly controlled doors are automatically controlled by Durandal to open when needed. However, due to the expense involved with adding thermal and visual spectrum sensors to the tertiary and quaternary doors, uh, these doors will be minimally used. The expected savings of not uh, of not using these uh, this extra sensory input is estimated to be 57% of the base cost. Uh, blah 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 blah. So, um, she has yeah, doors. Blah blah blah. All the all these. Uh, okay, she's basically saying that she's assigning things to uh, Durandal, who's the other AI uh, that has that that has survived this attack. The third one is the one that apparently is pretty much like done. So there we go. This is a security breach terminal. Yes. So something is basically alerting security breaches when it's me. And then this should, that might be my jump pad to get out. Uh, Leela, the Marathon's automated defenses were disabled during the initial attack by a direct magnet magnetic pulse. The aliens used the same weapon to disable the Marathon's other two AIs, Randall and Tycho, and to severely damage myself. Durandal is responsible for controlling the ship's auton autonomous doors. Just, again, we're getting into, uh, into Durandal's uh, different roles. Tycho controls the science engineering network. Now that you have a better, now you're better armed. Our first priority is to reactivate the Marathon's defenses under my control, uh, so that we may offer some resistance to the aliens. Yeah, so basically, give her control of the ship. Uh, I built three replacement circuit boards for the defense system, but cannot move them for the manufacturing center without assistance. I will now transport you to the ret to retrieve the replacement parts and will give you further instructions when you arrive. And then...